Hi everybody and welcome to Frank's 3D Shop. In today's video I will modify power supplies to have some peace and quiet when working around the printers while they are printing. But first, roll the intro! Okay, I have bought one of these power supplies on AliExpress. The other came with this printer. They are identical. They seem to be copies of an old version of Meanwell brand power supplies. I have found on this webpage that the original power supply had a thermal switch that controlled the power supply fan. Also, some commented to the author of this blog that some traces were not isolated enough to prevent creepage. I do not suggest that you make such modifications if you do not know what you are doing. I am a trained technician and I am confident to make those changes. So this video is to show you what is possible. Since I recorded the following footage, I have replaced both power supply with a real Meanwell brand and temperature stability is one of the benefits that I got doing that. Something to notice is that regulation committees approve the real Meanwell power supplies. So in my book, they are safer and that is why I have since replaced them. So I have made the modifications suggested from this webpage. Let's take a look. Okay, first let's open up the power supply. Disconnect the fan and remove the screws under this sticker to have the main board free. Remove the screws holding down the main board. There was some missing from factory. Not a good sign. Okay, good. Now some cleaning up because there is dust everywhere. Okay, first I am removing one of the traces as the blog suggests to increase creepage protection. The creepage protection is the hole in the form of an L that you see there. So here I am increasing the length of that hole with the sharp knife and I'm checking on the other side if I hit something everything is fine so I have increased the length of that and I'm increasing also the length of the other side of the L same principle here it is all finished and then I have to replace the trace that I removed. So I'm soldering in a jumper. This is to prevent creepage, which is the an arc, an electric arc that can form between traces. So the original traces were too close to the top ones. So this is all explained in the web page, which will be linked in the description below. Now I make sure that I didn't short anything and that the jumper is good. And this is the thermal switch, 45 degrees centigrade, uh, bought on AliExpress. That was in the original design. It even has a writing on the board, RT. So I soldered back this one that I bought from AliExpress. You also have to relocate that resistor where it first belonged in the original design. So I just added a piece of wire to length the resistor and put it back where it belongs. I then insert 
the terminal switch inside that transformer so that it can sense the temperature well and then I put some Teflon tape around it just to hold it in place you should use thermal silicon uh, but I didn't have any there is one in the mail right now but uh, that will do for now then put back everything the way it was And I also added some crimp connectors to make things easier and to make good contact for the power supply connections. And I make sure that I have the right connection at the right place. So I have made the same modification on my other printers and we will see the difference. Uh, I'm going to show when the fan is on and off. So as you see, it's on about half of the time, so it's more quiet during that time. And then when you have more than one printer, it's a good thing. And that's it for me guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, push the little bell for notifications of my new videos, and see you in the next video. Ciao, bye!